a final pitch and a familiar message. Who do you trust to make the hard decisions, the right calls for your family and your community? Michael Gunner held his last news conference of this election campaign before heading into National Cabinet. I'm about to go into my 26th National Cabinet. It could be my last. The Chief Minister has campaigned almost solely on his record handling the coronavirus crisis, attacking the country Liberal Party over its calls to open the borders in June. When I point this out, my opponents say I'm playing politics. It was the CLP that deliberately ignored the health advice back then to play politics. They put their political interests ahead of the Territory's interests, and I think Territorians know that. When the heat was on, when it really counted, the CLP put politics before people's lives. The Chief Minister has eroded a special bond of trust with Territorians over coronavirus. He has been the single point of information and he has engineered the COVID response to ensure that Territorians have to cling to his every word. For him to then use that as a political weapon during an election campaign to save his skin is quite frankly disgusting. Opposition leader Leah Finocchiaro keen to point to Labor's poor record on the economy before the pandemic. Under the Labor government, we have had the worst performing economy in the nation. Let's not forget the $8.2 billion debt the government has led us into without any plans for how to get us out of it and without anything to show for it. No one's life is better. Meanwhile, new party Territory Alliance says it's not the economy or coronavirus that is front of mind with most voters. The dominant concern they have is youth crime. It's still there. They are genuinely concerned about it. More than half of all eligible voters have already cast their ballot ahead of election day, but the Electoral Commission has raised concerns about a record low voter turnout in remote Aboriginal communities. That could have a significant impact on the final result. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin. And if you can tune in tonight from 6pm Australian Central Time for complete live coverage of the Northern Territory's election, Sky News' expert team of reporters and contributors will be on the ground bringing you all of the results and reaction live throughout the evening.